how to view data analysis report in Tally Prime. Data analysis report in Tally Prime facilitates conducting internal analysis and verification of the company's financial data. Data analysis will help in identifying exceptional areas and thereby ease the process of verification. To view data analysis report in Tally Prime, you need to go to the gateway of Tally. Select display more reports. Then select analysis and verification. Then select data analysis. Alternatively, press Alt plus G. Then select or type data analysis reports and press enter. The various tools available in Tally Prime for data analysis are verification of chart of accounts. Drill down into this report will help to scrutinize the chart of accounts and compare this with previous year chart of accounts and suggest the necessary corrections if required. Verification of stock items. Drill down into this report will help to scrutinize various stock items and compare the stock items list with the previous year. This will help in taking necessary decisions and provide necessary corrections. Verification of balances. Drill down into this report will help you to scrutinize the difference in opening balances and transaction details during the selected year and suggest necessary corrections based on the exceptions highlighted. The user can also generate the ledger wise variance report for the closing balances. Analytical procedures. This report can be used to analyze the data based on various parameters by a detailed comparison mechanism available. The user can take off note areas where more attention is required. Pending documents. This report will display all the pending bills, sales orders, purchase orders and receivables and payables during the analysis year. Periodic payments and receipts. This report provides the list of recurring ledger vouchers based on the periodic ledgers identified by the users. Repeated transactions. Drill down into this report will display the transactions for which the same amount is repeated more than once for each ledger during the analysis year. The user can use this report to check the intentional errors while passing the entries. Relative size factor. Drill down into this report will display the relative size factor for each ledger voucher which is arrived by dividing the highest voucher amount to the second highest voucher amount for the ledger vouchers. Interbank transactions. This report will display all the transactions carried out between the banks during the analysis period. Cash withdrawals or deposits to bank. Drill down to this report will display the bank ledgers from which the cash is withdrawn or deposits are made. This report also displays the total amount of transaction and the number of vouchers through which the withdrawal or deposits are made during the selected year. Fixed Assets Analysis This report provides the details of all the fixed assets possessed by the selected company at the end of the analysis year. Transaction on Holiday Drill down to this report displays all the transactions recorded on weekly off 
or declared holidays in the analysis year. Highest and lowest value transactions. This report provides ledger wise highest and lowest value transactions carried out during the selected period along with difference range and difference range percentage details. Pending advances. Drill down to this report will display the ledgers for which the advances made are pending during the analysis year. Stale check or instruments. Drill down to this report will display the bank ledgers with stale check or instruments. This report also displays the total amount and count of stale checks or instruments. Button options in the report. Press F2 to change the analysis period selected for the data analysis report in Tally Prime. Press F7 to load the company that contains the data for the year prior to the analysis period. Press F9 then select movement analysis and press enter. You can follow this step to open any of the accounting, inventory and verification reports from the list. Press Alt plus V to identify the related parties, periodic ledgers and apply sampling methods for analysis. Please note, this is required if the user has split the company before the start of the analysis year. This may also be needed if the user has taken the data backup separately after the analysis for the previous year. Please note, for the company with two years of data, system check for the vouchers passed on 31st December to determine the analysis year. Previous year company name will display as not applicable in this case. The previous year company name will appear on the dashboard as shown in the screen. That's it guys. Thanks for watching my videos. Keep supporting me like this. Please share my videos with your nearest one. And don't forget to subscribe my channel to get the regular updates. You can click on the info card to watch my previous videos or you can click on the playlist from info card to know elaborately.